Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back my dear friends, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you wherever you are in this part of this world. And as you know this is the DADM2 which is data analysis and decision making 2 course under NPTEL MOOC series. Now this total course duration which I keep repeating before the starting of the actual lecture for any week, this total duration is basically for 12 week and as you can see from the slide we are in the 11th week and the total contact hours is 30 which is gets converted into 60 lectures each lecture being for half an hour and each week we have 5 lectures each for half an hour as it should be and we have already completed 10 weeks we are in the 11th week as mentioned and you have already done 10 assignments uh, for this DADM 2 course and my good name is Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department at IIT Kanpur. Now, if you remember, we were discussing about the GERT and, and um, QGERT concepts. So, GERT was basically the generalized evaluation review technique where the concepts of probability in which path it will be taken, the time concepts are very important and mo more so what is very important is the looping concept because in PERT and CPM which I had mentioned in the, this, this being the 53rd lecture in the 51st which was the first lecture in the 11th week I kept mentioning time and again that in PERT and CPM you would not have the concept of looping that means once you follow the process you would not be coming back for rework or quality checks, rework of quality checks and so on and so forth which is considered in the JERT method. Uh, one of the important factors for the for uh, the concepts of GERT or JERT was that it is based on activity on R concept not an activity on nodes because in CPM and, and PERT you can basically consider the activity on nodes and activity on node concept. Now considering the, the concept of AND network or networks and all these possibilities, we did, did discuss in the last class or which was in the 50, 52nd class uh, lecture, the concept of <coughs> basically launching a rocket where two mo most important um, work or the assignments or the operations were important where we considered in the first case of both the operation being successful was the case where the work was successful, the completion of the work was successful. So, any combination of yes, yes was successful, any combination of yes, no, no, yes and no, no for the respective first and second uh, set of uh, uh, this um, decisions which were combined to form the whole total work was unsuccessful or a failure. And in the second example, we consider that in if any one of them is successful, we will consider this as a success. So, for yes, 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 no and no, yes, it was a success while for no, no, it was a failure. Now, when we have a series network, how would you basically find out the probability? So, it is like this. So, consider that this is a series network that means you are following the same concept as we as in, in conceptually you follow the same concept as we do in, mark, in, in electrical engineering and then we have the concept of, of parallel network and the looping concept would be considered because there is a part and parcel of the JERT or GERT and QJERT and QGERT processes. So, consider the, the series network. So, what you have okay, again as usual I will bring the, the diagrams in, in consideration. So, please just have some patience for a few minutes. So, example of basic networks I will consider. So, this uh, utilization of this pictorial concept would be utilized time and again hence I thought I should basically bring it here also. Okay. So, exclusive or means I will I will did repeat it but uh, time and again but I will again repeat it uh, so that it, the concepts are absolutely clear to us. 
So, exclusively or means the realization of any branch. So, any branch I will ask you for any branch leading into the node causes the node to be realized any one of them. So, consider the n of them you can take any one of them. However, one and only one of the branches leading into this node can be realized at a given time. So, if you have basically n number of branches you will take only one of them that means n of them are there and any one can be realized. So, inclusive or would be the realization of any branch leading into the node causes the node to be realized. So, here also the any branch is there. The time of realization is the smallest of the completion time of the activities leading into the inclusive or. So, in the first case we only considered the realization, now we will consider the time also. So, we will consider the any branch leading would trigger it and give the pressure positive for the time duration we will consider as the minimum of all of them taken together. For the and one the node will be realized only if all the branches leading into the nodes are realized. The time of realization thus is the largest of the completion time of all the activities leading into the and node. So, exclusive or any branch inclusive or any branch with the minimum time and being realization of or time being the maximum of them. Now, with repetition deterministic would be the semicircular one, probabilistic would be the triangle one where uh, the triangle has the vertex one of the vertices pointing on to the right, right side when you are drawing the diagram. So, the deterministic one all branches emanating from the node are taken if the node is realized that is all branches emitting with this node have a p parameter equal to probability parameter equal to 1 all the branches coming out from that. While in the probabilistic one exactly one branch emanating from the node is taken if the node is realized in the corresponding probability obviously you know that if it is yes. So, hence the corresponding probability for that node if it is realized is yes or else the probabilities would be given according to the distribution which you have. So, with repetition for the exclusive or you will take any of the branches, for the inclusive or you will take any of the branches and the time would basically be the minimum. So, let me write uh, highlight the time with a different color. So, the time of realization is the smallest of the completion time of the all the activities leading to the inclusive or while in this case for the and one it is also if it is it is all the branches leading to node are realized and the time of the realization is the largest of the completion time of all all the activities leading to the and node so semicircle one is the deterministic one where if the node is realized then all the branches emanating from this node have a have a parameter p value of 1 and probabilistic case being exactly one branch emanating from the node is taken if the node is realized and obviously if it is taken the probability would be 1 and corresponding to which it would be taken would depend on the probability distribution per se. The symbols for the uh, combinations would be you have exclusive the ors, the ands and the deterministic one. So, I will basically formulate 3 into 2 6 combinations. So, the first one will be exclusive or with deterministic case. So, deterministic case I will mark it as green. Then the exclusive or with the probabilistic case. Then you have the inclusive or with the deterministic case then you have the inclusive or with the probabilistic case, then you have the AND network, let me check a color light green would do, let me take the violet one, AND network with the deterministic one. So, this color would be one minute, it should be light one.
then the and one is there for the probabilistic one, probabilistic one would be the orange color. So, the combinations are given accordingly such that based on this exclusive or or deterministic one, exclusive or or the probabilistic one, including or or the deterministic one, inclusive or or the probabilistic one and then finally, the and con concept will be combined with the deterministic and the probabilistic one. You remember one thing in this, uh, in this uh, exclusive or you had basically taken any one halves to be realized. In the inclusive or you have to basically take the concept that any one has to be realized along with the minimum time. For the and one all of it has to realize with the and uh, with the maximum time. While for the deterministic one all of them have to be realized any paths coming out and the probabilistic one any one would be realized obviously with the probability uh, one, but correspondingly what is the distribution of which of the paths can be taken would be given by the probability distribution. Now, let us come to the series concept. So, in the series concept what we have are three components side by side. So, representation with the constant time period being. So, I am going from 1, I will call, call, call them the nodes from 1 to 2 I go and from 2 to 2 to 3. The corresponding probability which is coming out from node 1. So, if it is a diamond, so let us go to the diamond concept it is the inclusive or and the probabilistic one. So, the probability is given as P A time is T A, the corresponding um, uh, time period ok. Another thing, so this, this would be a concept of exclusive or because the, the concept of, of timing will be basically based on the fact that it is an exclusive or and a, and a probabilistic one. So, with the, again the exclusive or coming out from node 2 to node 3 which is also exclusive or 1, the probabilities are given correspondingly as P B and time is T B and basically you can extend that depending on type of series which if the series continues you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the corresponding probabilities would be given by P A, P B, P C, P D so on and so forth and the corresponding time would be T A, T B, T C and so on and so forth. Now, if we have two paths from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3, so the equivalent probability would be the multiplication of the probabilities. So, if there are three parts it can be calculated accordingly while the equivalent expected time would basically be calculated by some of them. Now, when you want to basically have the parallel circuit, parallel circuits would be given that I can go from 1 to 2 in two ways. One way would be basically the probabilities of P A and T A, another path can be basically P B and T B. Hence, the corresponding equivalent probability would be the sum of the probabilities any one of them, I add, add them up. Obviously, the sum should always be addition would be less than equal to 1 and the corresponding time periods would be multiplied by the time periods multiplied by the probability. So, you will basically have P A into T A plus P B into T B divided by the corresponding total probabilities which is P A into P plus P B. So, if there are three parts. So, obviously, it will be P A into T A plus P B into T B plus P C into T C divided by P A plus P B plus P C. So, it can extend accordingly which I have already discussed in the last class. And in the self loop, I am considering that there are loops at only one end. So, obviously, it can be for one or two, but I will only consider or both of them, but I will consider the loop is only for one. So, the corresponding uh, the loops is basically I start at one and come back at one with the probability as P A and time as T B, P B and time as T B and when I am taking the path from, from one to two, I am following the probability of P A and T B and the corresponding uh, probabilities which I can take outside going um, uh, away from this network is basically given by P C and T C. So, if I want to find out the equivalent probability by combining two things, one is the self loop in one node and one is the linear motion uh, movement of the or the path from P, P, the first to the second one, the corresponding probabilities can be calculated to find out which is P A divided by 1 minus P B and the time can be found out corresponding to the fact that it will be T A plus the probability based on fact which you are trying to find out for T B which is P A, P B by 1 minus P B into T B and it can be extended for more than 2. Since for a series network both branches must be taken to reach node 3, so node 3 what we have is basically see this for the series 1. 
So, 1 has to be followed, then 2 has to be followed, then only 3 is realized that this is what is saying. Since for a series network both the branches must be taken to reach 3 or else it is not possible. The probability of taking both branches is the product of the individual properties that what we have calculated. So, it is P A into B B. So, if I traverse 1 to 2 and then I traverse 2 to 3 obviously, the corresponding probability would be P A that is moving from 1 to 2 into P B which is moving from 2 to 3 and the corresponding time would be the time taken to traverse 1 to 2 which is T A and the time taken to traverse from 2 to 3 which is T B you add them up you get the total time. So, as it is mentioned uh, the time is the sum of the individual times for the parallel branches either branch can be take can be a part of the realization not both. So, any one of them has to be taken by definition is the exclusive or element. So, let us go. So, either you take the first path which is 1 to 2 following probability of P A and T A and time of T A or else you follow the path of probability P B and T B. So, the corresponding probabilities would be this one uh, which is shown as P A plus P B and the corresponding time I have already shown which is the so called the concept of weighted sums or the ratios or the averages for the times where the weights are what you will basically multiply or for the probabilities would be multiplied by the time factors to arrive at the equivalent expected time. So, thus the probability of going from node 1 to 2 is the sum of the probabilities in this case what we have is the sum when I am moving from 1 to 2 either I take path 1 or path 2. If there are more than 2 obviously, I can take 1 or 2 or 3, but 1 has to be realized not more than 1. Thus, the probability of going from node 1 to 2 is the sum of the probabilities. The times to traverse from node 1 to node 2 is no longer a constant, but takes on a value T A with the probability P A and T B takes as the probability P B. So, if there is another third path for time T C, it will be multiplied or the corresponding probability would be P C. Thus, the equivalent time to realize node 2 given that you have started at 1 that uh, it would definitely be a random variable. However, normalizing P A and P B by dividing each by P A plus P B would ensure that the complete density function for the equivalent time is accounted for and we have the equivalent expected time as given which will be P A into T A plus P B into T B divided by P A plus P B. It should be clear that a complete description of the time to realize node 2 has not been obtained and the use of expected value to describe the time parameter is an approximation based on which we are trying to find out the calculations. So, now we will consider the reduction of the self loop to an equivalent probability and an equivalent expected time is obtained by summation of the probabilities. So, if I if I continue doing this I will add up the probabilities series of the parallels which we have. The probability of going from 1 to 2 with no transition around the self loop is basically given as P A and probability from going from uh, node 2 to 2 3 would be given by probability P B. So, with one transition around the self loop it will be given by P A into B B with n numbers of transitions would be basically P A, P A is traverse 1. So, if there are n numbers of traversing for the probability P B, it will be P B multiplied by, by P B n number of times. So, it will be P A for the first loop and the second loop I am going to traverse n number of times it will be P B to the power n. Summing basically if you if you find out you will find and find out the expected value and the and the equivalent values of probability which is P. Similarly, we can find out the expected value. So, expected value of time would be the corresponding probability multiplied with the time. So, the probabilities are given here. So, probabilities are here and the corresponding realized values are given here. So, you multiply the time with the factor of probabilities and you get the total uh, time would be T A plus T B where T B would be multiplied by the corresponding probability of P B divided by 1 minus P B. It can be extended to more than 2 also. So, note that the parameters of the C branch for the third case must also be altered by the same factors if the self loop is removed from the network. Again the expected time does not completely describe the network because it is just an approximation depending on the number of combinations which we have. 
From the analysis of the basic network presented above, it is seen that for two branches in series, the probability associated with the branches are multiplied to obtain the corresponding value. So, if I go back to this, so if I am going in a series sec sector, I will keep multiplying path 1 to 2 into path 3 to 3 and so on and so forth. While if I follow the concept of basically going in the parallel circuit with two loops, any one has to be followed, it will be sum. If two has to be followed, I will sum them up, but correspondingly remember the sum of the probabilities is 1. And if I follow the concept of the self loop, so if there are two self loops, I will basically have to multiply the corresponding probabilities in this way. In the first, there is a self loop which is P B and in the second, we are not considering self loop. So, obviously, this would not be considered in the example here. From the analysis of the basic network represented above, it is seen that for two branches in series, the probabilities associated with the branches are multiplied to obtain the equivalent probability for the two branches. For parallel branches, the probabilities add. These rules adhere to the basic laws of nodes presented previously in the flow process concept of the flow diagrams. That is, the probabilities associated with the node can be computed at the sum of the probabilities for each incoming branch times the probabilities of the nodes for which the branch have been connected. So, you are trying to basically multiply the probability and the time. Thus, if the time was not associated with the network, the network analysis could be accomplished using flow graph theory only. But now as time and probabilities are there, you have to use the different concepts differently. Alternatively, by setting all times on a stochastic network to 0 and allowing other parameters to assume a wider range of values, it reduces a stochastic network to a flow diagram, which is basically a deterministic one. That means, you are doing away with the probability as required. So, it is now possible to state the relationship between the PERT type of networks which have been mentioning time and again and the flow program and the stochastic network. PERT time and networks are stochastic that is they are cut provided the distribution is known. If you remember we had considered the most probable time, uh, most pessimistic time and the most uh, optimistic time. So, PERT time networks are stochastic networks with, with all and deterministic nodes. Flow graphs, flow graphs are stochastic diagrams with single multiplicative parameters all additive parameters such as time are set to 0. So, whatever they are to be multiplied you will set them as non-zero others addition to be 0. The probabilistic interpretation for the multiplicative parameter is removed. So, you would not be considered it accordingly. So, returning to the discussion of the reduction of the basic networks, it is seen that the time parameter is added for two branches in series and it is weighted average for the two branches in parallel. Two is a just a symbolic representation, it can be 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth. These observations suggest the transformation of P and T into a single function such that we use the so called moment generating, fun generating function concept which is given by P e to the power S T. Then for the two branches, if I have and if I want to basically add them up or add, um, uh, multiply them depending on what type of series or parallel connections it is there, I will be utilizing this so called functional form of P e to the power S t repeatedly depending on the way the calculations would be done. So, thus I will basically have the equivalent of 1 and 2 as W 1 s into W s 2 and we will basically have W 1 s W suffix 1 and W suffix 2 would be given by P 1 into e to the power S 1 t and P 2 e to the power S 2 t P 2. So, differentiating with respect so and for the additional one you will basically add them. So, differentiating with respect to S and then setting the S value as 0 yields a proportional result which is equal to the, to the expected value in the next two subsections the techniques of how they can be calculated can be found out equivalently. Um, uh, with this, I will close the, the third lecture for the 11th week and consider uh, the discussion of a different topic as would be required in the concept of DADM2 um, uh, corresponding. With this, I will have a nice day and thank you very much.